In this clip I'm going to show you how do you can revitalize one of these older binary style remote controls. Usually they were produced and older than 2001. You usually find them with two buttons, sometimes one buttons. This one here is an old DEI. It's an EZS DEI 490. This one here is a, a rolling code, although the binary with the fixed um, frequencies apply just the same. Right here I have a, a frequency counter. You probably don't have this, but I'm going to use it for illustration. If you have one, by all means, go ahead and use it. So when I hit my remote, I get my code. I usually hit it a few times just to generally make sure I'm on the right frequency. So I hit it four times, and out of four, I got 412 three times, and I got 411 once. So 412 is the higher of the bunch is always going to be the right one. So if your alarm remote is just plain old unresponsive or the range is just really bad, what you do is just find the inside your remote case up on the top. There's a potentiometer located right there. It has a small Phillips screw. Just take yourself a really small screwdriver either a Phillips or a flathead, whichever works. Just be careful not to strip it out. Take it, stick it in there, turn it clockwise just a little bit, and I mean a hair. So now, I brought it up from 412 to 416 and a half. That's a very small difference, but that difference basically might mean a difference between your remote working to your car or not working. And not only that, but if it already worked already and you just want to extend your range, that's the way you do it. It's just that simple. It's basically free. You already have the tools to do the job. And that's really all there is to it. Good luck with that. Enjoy.